Black Science TV 111. This is Osaka 4. I'm back at y'all again. Um, when we talk about extraterrestrials, we can talk about a whole variety of things um, in certain contexts or in different uh, perspectives and definitions. But the extraterrestrial that I'm talking about invading the Earth today is the information that's being distributed from different planets. Because you got to understand that energy is a thought and thought is information. This is how we're able to communicate with each other by way of satellites. But we are natural satellites. We are walking satellites and we pick up on each other's energy. Okay? So, the extraterrestrials. When you start to study the universe right now, we can actually see that the, um, the axis of the earth now is on a wobbly rotation. And it's shifting. It's causing um, a lot of the paradigms within the universe to shift. So when you look at, when you study the planets, the planets itself has a certain type of soul in it that is now awakening and is sending frequencies from the planet to the minds that's identical to those souls within those planets. Now, when you study the melanated um, biological structure or biochemical structure, we have in us something that is magnetic and also works as an antenna. So, being that we have a part of us on certain planets that's alive, the distribution of the information from these bodies is now being sent into, it's just like um, having Wi-Fi or um, a cell phone or cable. In order for them to turn on your cable, you have to have a wire hooked up to the television, and then they must send a signal out. Right now, we are hooked up to, um, to an, um, a, a, um, how would you say? We are hooked up to a power line, which has given us the authority to receive this information and digest it within our spiritual brain. And every time we digest it into our spiritual brain, it's causing us to be, become extraterrestrial or it's causing something within us to become extraterrestrial. This is why you see a lot of or feel a lot of the energy because when you, it's like we're going back to the senses. Anytime you tell someone that you can feel something in, your, in their aura, you must understand that you are picking up on a thought. So when you feel something, you are actually taking in somebody else's thoughts. And you become in that thought when you digest it, depending on how you digest it. Because if you, if, you, if, you, if you can't think for yourself, then the people around you who's distributing this energy, this certain type of energy, can control you. And this is why we have to watch who we are around. We got to watch um, how we think around people. And then we have to know the thoughts of the people who we allow in our circumference. So, <clears throat> as extraterrestrials, we are those who consist of a certain type of DNA or genetic code that's identical to the DNA of our ancestors on these other planets. Because you have to understand that these planets are people too. It ain't just, it's not just some people living on planets. This is what you got to understand. These planets communicate. And by us being in the shift that we're in now, the planet is now saying, let's give birth to the information so that we can awaken those who are living on the earth plane or the third plane to be able to download something that will actually awaken something, something else, somewhere, something somewhere else. So when you st when you study in, um, when you when you look at a birth, a child that's within the womb for nine months gestation. You must, you must understand that the child is not just sitting in the womb, just waiting. There's a spiritual umbilical cord that's feeding that child, not physical food, but it's, it's feeding the spiritual food, which is the information to help it to grow. It helps the brain to grow, the kidneys, and everything else. It's, see, the, 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 the physical womb is only nurturing it physically. And it's helping it grow physically. But there's something spiritually that's helping it grow soulfully. That's not inside of the physicality or the physical body that it resides in. It's somewhere else. Like I said, you have, you have certain antennas around you right now. That's bouncing frequencies. 
And we picking up on those same frequencies. So we must, we must understand that when we are in the state of stress or depression, for an example, is a reason why we become stressed or depressed. It's either the people that we got around us holding, our, holding their DNA a processed ingredient or a genetically modified thought because a genetically modified thought going into your brain or, pick, or you picking up on it by way of the antennas of your cells, which is the nucleus, because you have to understand that the cells in your body has a nucleus, and the nucleus is, is an antenna, and it picks up on frequencies from other people. So therefore, when you have genetically modified um, energy around you, you are digesting this, and you are becoming that which is around you. Again, this is why you have to watch your family members. When you become unconscious, you are now going back into your natural state. So that's like water and oil. It doesn't mix. So the thing is, you have to do what water and oil does when it comes to company with each other. you got to divide yourself. Because if you don't, then you'll be drained of energy, and you won't be able to see your true destiny for what it is. Like I said, sometimes your brain is blocked because of the people around you and it cannot receive the information that it needs in order for you to evolve. This is why a lot of people say, well, how did you get to where you're at today? Because I had to let a lot of family go. You have to let family go. Being family is religious as well. Every, it's not just one form of religion. You have certain forms of religion around you. If you're going to let one go, you have to let it all go. Because religion is not spirituality. And if you're a spiritual people, you're supposed to take in spiritual food. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, when we... <coughs> excuse me. So when you are around people who don't have a purpose in life, and they're comfortable where they are in their negative state, and you put yourself around that, you, what you're doing is, it's just like a holographic, uh, a holographic system. They, they, are, they are projecting onto you something or emanate onto you something that they, are, they have manifested. And now you are, what you are doing is you are taking it in subconsciously. And it may not come alive right then and there, but somewhere down the line it's going to come alive. And then you're going to start seeing yourself act like the people who you used to be around. Because even when you break away from that type of energy, if you stay around it long enough, later on it'll still come into it'll still manifest in you. You get what I'm saying? And not only that, but when you when you are in a state, when you are in a state of determination and you determine to do what you want to do, your brain starts to assist you. It starts to create different fluids to assist you to be able to be determined toward that which you are the um, what you have determination for. So, for instance, as melanated people, we dominate sports. Why? Not because of something physical, but because of something that we have in our DNA, which is melanin. Melanin causes us to dominate sports. This is why we can go into any sport and we take over. Because we have a spiritual entity or a soul substance entity within us that's actually assisting us to be better than we could be here in this physicality. Again, we travel like energy. But we're traveling so fast that we, we can't see who we truly are. Especially being in the, on this third dimension. So when you have a mind that's being suppressed by <coughs> excuse me, being suppressed by way of what you eat, the people you keep around you, the systems that you got that's got that you got around you, that you adhere to every day, because the systems that you understand that everything around you, again, is a planet. So when, you, so when you, as an extraterrestrial, go to occupy a planet, what type of planet are you going to? Are you going to a planet that's going to help you to evolve, help you to better yourself? Is the planet that you're going to as an extraterrestrial on the same frequency as you? It's just like white people who say they went to the moon. They're not on the same frequency as the moon, so therefore they wouldn't last on the moon. White people, again, they've never been to the moon, ever. Because there are certain molecules up there and there are sounds that's being distributed. It's sound wave frequencies that's being distributed that will actually tear their asses up. Just like the sun, the sun distributes sound wave frequencies. So it's not actually the heat that's burning them, that the frequencies of the sound is so high. This is like when you're rubbing, um, rubbing your hands together, friction, it starts to warm up. But that's volume. The more hotter it gets, the higher the volume it goes. 
So the sun is so high to the point where it's burning their skin or their cells. Because you understand their cells is, is um, thinner than our um, skin, than our cells. So you, you got to understand that there are sound wave frequencies on the moon that will actually eat them up. It will suck them in alive. But as black people, we can go there. Why? Because our cells and our skin tissues are thicker. We have, again, we have something that's called keratinocytes, which helps us to digest whether it's negative or positive. This is why we can, we can live longer and we look better as we go on and as time goes on. Because we have something in us that's assisting us to be able to um, survive on a plane um, where we shouldn't be surviving. We should have, see the thing is, <coughs> they look at this like, why are they still alive? After all the government cheese, right? After all the lead, the manganese, the chemtrail that is sprayed in our community, we should be extinct. But we cannot be extinct. Why? Because we're the original people of the universe. The original people of the universe. So, you know, um, again, yesterday, I'm going to touch on this just one more time. I ain't going to touch on it no more. You know, I was talking to one of the Moorish brothers, and, you know, we had a good dialogue. And, you know, I asked him, I said, what do we have to do in order to come together, you know what I mean, to liberate our people? And he said that, well, once we get the land, they'll start to respect us. And, I mean, if, like I said, historically speaking, we see that we didn't have the land. We didn't have the black Wall Streets. We didn't have all of that. But still, there was no respect for us. There's no respect for us. We're going to have to go into, we're going to have to evolve into higher states of extraterrestrials and have a, 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 um, a military spirit or a military soul or a military heart. Because again, if the sun falls out the sky right now, it's not going to say, excuse me. You better get the hell out of the way or get burned. The wind don't say, excuse me. It keeps going. Whether it's, whether it's traveling at a fast rate to knock down things, it's going to keep going. Is not going to stop. So, you know, we're going to have to wake up and we have to go back into nature again, just like that wind and just like that sun that's falling out of the sky. This is how we're going to have to attack. You don't hold, you don't, you don't hold because energy don't stop. Even as, but even as being contained in this physical body and us being energy, it hasn't stopped because every time we breathe, we're taking in new energy of information. We're taking in new energy of information because of, the, because of the molecular structure of those molecules around us that is contained within information that's full of hydrogen. Just like water today, the water that we drink today is depleted of hydrogen. Anything without hydrogen is just liquid. And we all know that the water is the molecule that traps memory. It helps you to, to memorize things. So therefore, when you are um, drinking water that's depleted of hydrogen, what you're doing is you're stressing your cells. People don't see that. That's acidic. Spring water is acidic. So as extraterrestrial people, in, in, in order for us to evolve, we have to be able to pick up on those thoughts. So we need hydrogen. See, health got a lot to do with it. The people that are keeping our circle have a lot to do with our evolution. The, the way that we go at this um, the liberation or revolution has a lot to do with our evolution. It's not just one scale. We can't look at things from one scale. We have to, we have to prepare ourselves health-wise, the way we think, the way we revolutionize. You know what I mean? We have to go out and we have to be a part of the sacrificing tool for our generation if we are to make it as extraterrestrials because we can't die. Death don't exist. Again, Nobody knew what death or life was before they came out of their mother's womb. Nobody. It was introduced to you. Then you found out. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you go to a bird right now and say, what is religion? I thank God. Let's pray. That bird will probably look at you like you're crazy. Because it wasn't introduced. It's not processed. Black people were processed when we were introduced to religion. When you, when you get natural foods, you're looking at a spiritual substance. But when you take it into the laboratory and you start um, genetically modifying these foods, 
It becomes a religion, which is not good for you. It's just like us. When we came out of our mother's womb, we were natural. But we were introduced systems. We became processed food. So again, you know, um, I love y'all. This is Osaka 4. Peace, love, and power. <laughs>